And then tomorrow morning, big changes are coming to BART. But we are already seeing the start of a whole new era for the transit agency, at least in one way. ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry shows us what's ahead and how riders are reacting. With this train ride, we'll be closing out a major chapter of our history. Thank you for joining us and riding with us tonight. This is a Richmond-bound red line train. <laughs> Say goodbye to these. Sunday is the last night the old-style BART trains are running in its system. They'll only be used on rare occasions. It is now all about the fleet of the future. I was here when BART opened. I remember we were at the opening. I just moved to the Bay Area as a little kid. And so, yeah, I mean, that's the nature of life. Longtime BART writer George Segura says he will miss the old trains but wants BART to make improvements. That will come with not only the trains but also the schedule. There will be a 20-minute maximum wait for a train. There will be more trains running at night. The wait for a train on the yellow line will only be 10 to 15 minutes on weekdays and more trains will run to SFO. We know that more people are traveling on the weekends and in the evenings, so we've increased the service by 50% on evenings and weekends. BART is also moving to shorter trains. The reason for that, safety. Segura says he consistently sees people breaking the law while on board. What I see is that there's a lot of misuse of the trains. People are sleeping, they're crazy, super loud music, a lot of smoking. There's so much smoking on BART. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. Yeah. And it's very hard to get help from the police present. I've, I've called a couple times with no reactions. Riders who take BART every single day and riders who take BART just on occasion say they want to see the system address those safety concerns. But well, one of the things BART wants to accomplish with this new schedule change is to make this a safer system. People won't be alone in their train cars as often. Also, it provides a shorter distance for our police officers and other police personnel to patrol those train cars. BART also says it will help their cleaning crews keep trains in good condition. Segura says he is happy to see BART try and help its riders. He says even now he doesn't see many officers patrolling the trains. People just seem to feel like the police aren't doing anything and they're actually kind of afraid. The police are actually afraid to act sometimes. But I think I've seen police maybe a total of in the last month, four times. In the East Bay, Ryan Curry, ABC 7 News.